-hmm. how do you check yourself on uh, whether it's time for you to pivot or not or to make a change? Um, I really just write it on the wall, Jane. I really look to my air self, my Xavier, how I'm feeling. I'm, I've been fortunate enough to have a pretty good gauge on my life and the future and what's coming down. Like I watch the news all the time, which could be a good or a bad thing. Turn that news on, Jay. I watch the news, I'm, I kind of get the forecast, I listen to people, and then I figure, I'm saying, okay, what do I want to be in my life five years from now? What do I, what options do I want to have? Right. Where's my life going to be? My kids, my parents, you know, everybody in my life, my wife, my grandchildren, my, my future grandchildren, maybe, you know, uh, at some point, you know, everybody in my life that I'm responsible for, mm. I have to step back and say, okay, where do I need to be for jail and myself five years? Five years and five years. So you do a five year outlook, okay? A five year outlook, because typically every five years I can go back and look and say, wow, I'm glad I made this. Normally our wives are cracking a whip somewhere in the. You know what? You know what it's all from, but you know, I, I, I think a, a self cracked whip is better than a track whip from um, someone to, from someone else. Yeah, it's true. I am my biggest critic. I am my biggest, uh, uh, uh you know, uh, overseer. I, I, I look inward and I have a pretty good gauge on what James needs to do and what James needs to, who James needs to become. Right. So that's kind of where I am, uh, with fit. That's how I gauge myself. But how about you? That's awesome. Like you say, the self-reflection and real estate, we're always big on the numbers, the numbers, numbers. And um, in a, a recent conference that we just came back from, uh, we were in a room with top producer, Bloop, and the guest speaker came up and said, he said, you guys are going to always be number one in your office. You're always going to have X amount of sales. You're always going to kick butt. But the question is, are you, happy? Are you doing what you want to right. right? Are you living a life that you want to live? Are you having any regrets? And I'd never really been in a room where the motivational speaker was supposed to continue taking us to new eyes. Mm -hmm. Actually went left with the conversation to reflect balance. Are you balanced? Who are you happy? Uh, are you living a life fulfilled? Uh, are you being a good friend? And I, I'm going off memory with the, the one of the, the, uh, the slides had five questions and those were some of the questions and, uh, so when you ask how to reflect, those are some of the things I'm really thinking about because we've all, we've been successful, right? Right. But, but have we, have we had that balance? So I've kind of looked it up to film and it's on the balance. It's on the Yep. It turns, if you're not, don't be afraid to go into a home hotel. Don't be afraid true, to just reinvent yourself, to, to just go say, Hey, you know what? This has had its run. They had, oh, I had a best speak. I had a good run with this. I've learned some things, I've made a little money, but now it's time for me to go in another direction. So like for me, my happy place is cooking and gardening. I literally love every day to cook. <laughs> okay. Uh, my family is, is the beneficiary and they love the fact that I love that. Did you bring us anything? I did not. I did not. I did make some gumbo on Sunday. That's probably really good right now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I love to do those things. So I said, you know, my son, hey, you know, if something happened, I could break you off. What do I do? Open, open up a restaurant. I'll cook. Or, or I'll go into gardening. Or I can do something. Because whatever you do, like I'm a perfectionist, whatever I do, I try to be. And right. so you take those traits and you put it in, hopefully you have a good foundation, right? Where I do work that work at lit effort. You have a, a good foundational uh, base to be successful at anything, right? I, I, I looked at the documentary, a couple of Ryan, Michael George, they were perfectionists at whatever they did. They just took it to their skill and they crafted it and they hold it into a, 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 a talent that will probably never be seen again ever, you know, but they had that instilled in them. So whatever you do, do it best you can do. And if you need to pivot, take that same motivation, that same okay. passion, and go and do all the fake. What, what are your thoughts when you take what others say you're good at to maybe reinvent yourself? Because a lot of times you may not see it mm -hmm. in yourself, but mm -hmm. others, to answer your question, I think you should listen to others because they may be indirectly telling you what you're great at. 
and you gotta sometimes listen to signs from others. I'm a big reader. I'm a I'm big uh, big on signs. Mm-hmm. And if I'm continuing to hear the same thing over and over, it could be God speaking to me. You don't want to get too spiritual. We the signs are cute, for, and you gotta lean into that. Well, when you talk about pivot, right, making the shift. Well, fortunately, they told me I'm good at what I'm doing right now, which is which is uh, which is a plus. I sure. love Rose. I love sure. what I'm doing now, but. You can attest to this as well. The market is changing. The market shift is changing. Hey, so what would you do if all of a sudden next week no more rim extensions? Sure, it's just as soon as there's there's no sleepers out here. If with the market shift, I'm telling my agents I got 37 agents. Mm-hmm. I'm telling them start your property management arm. I'm telling my agents learn about commercial real estate. I'm telling my agents uh, learn about flipping property or Learn how to create consulting agreements so that right. they can help others. If you really are, this isn't for everyone, but get it, get into interior design. Right. I, uh, there's some wonderful uh, female small business opportunities with ladies going to get their contractor's license. Right. You can gig and get opportunities that others that I can't get. On uh, the last segment, we were talking about how are, how are women killing the game. There are opportunities out there for women and, and minority-owned businesses. Take advantage of the killers. And, and see, like, so you have great support. There are things that are going to flow nationally from real estate. And like when we had the crash in 08. Right. You know, I was like, well, we're not doing no close. We were doing short sales. We were focusing on foreclosures. You have to, every three years in this business of 19 years, I've had to do something different. Right. So I'm just ready to ride. Right. Let's go. So I pivoted and started a took the property management. That's right. You told me. And you go into property management. You got into the crazy James. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was crazy. It was, it was, it was ridiculous. Yeah. And. end. You know, from that, I've learned a lot, and I've met a lot of people, right? It's all about who you know and me, dude, but if you get yourself out there, if you just start doing something, don't be lazy. I'm going to say it again. Don't, don't be, be lazy. lazy. <laughs> Whatever you do, start doing it's the best member of ability. Jay, you're not saying it right. you got to do what's what's in front of you. Here we go. And we have to come to something. Uh, yeah. Some people, some, by, some of the views with the Jay, what the heck is that? Yeah, the something is whatever it is in front of you. Take that and and, and give one hundred and ten percent. I firmly believe that guys that give you signs, that will be signs. There'll be things that are just pushing you towards. And you gotta listen to that inner voice, that inner person inside you telling you, okay, you know you've been wanting to do this for a long time. Now it's your time. The thing is just falling apart. Yeah, like they say, take lemons and make lemonade from it. Oh my God, it's just, it's the same kind of thing. You take what you give. Life is not fair. It is not fair at all. You may be given a deck. You may be playing spades, right? And you may have a nine, eight, seven, and six of hearts and a three of, of clubs. And you have anything to work with, but I guarantee you, you can make a couple books out of that. Oh my God. You can, you can figure it out. I um, As we talk about shifting, I've kind of gotten into commercial real estate a little bit. And I... Put a sign. My clients bought a bank on an auction. It's an old Bank of America building, mm-hmm. and I put a sign out front just to see what the community would love to see there, or right. what businesses, what the opportunities are. Mm-hmm. We get a lot of calls from funeral home directors, uh, pastors, daycare owners, uh, beauty schools, and I, while walking the building, it's a dilapidated bank. Mm-hmm. In a way, while walking it. I've got the chance to meet two sets of mother daughters and with eight in each appointment that I had, the mothers were saying to me, what you just said, it's been my vision for 40 years. It's kind of scary that each mom kind of had like a 30, one yeah. mom was about 37, 36 years. Another mom was about 40 years of opening X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. So now we're kind of working with them, but it, it was really cool to hear those moms pour their vision out and the heart out to me as to where they saw their future and things that they wanted to achieve and check their bucket list. So hopefully we'll be able to help maybe open a daycare right. or maybe uh, a beauty school. We're, it's up to the owner how he wants to, you know, but nonetheless, I've, I'm hearing it even from others out in the community. Don't take 40 years though, to make that hat out. But I am seeing ladies at 40 years later, wanting to see their vision. So I feel like now we're being pushed into making a decision. COVID, that's what COVID is. Yeah. yeah. COVID, there were a bunch of millionaires may have been COVID. A bunch of millionaires may have been COVID. People who 
like I said, we, they just pivoted. Thing they said, well, we can't go to work. We're shut down. We'll figure out how to do this. To kind of make this thing happen. Guess what? We don't have a lot of options. So that's that's what I love about today's world is um, life is going to continue to, to be thrown at us. We just got to play ping pong with them. I wait in the car to the deal. <laughs> just got to <laughs> make the mezzanine. You can't sit there. Life is not fair. And, and I, I hate it. I hate it. I have been blessed. And we have worked very hard to get where we are and, and been blessed in the process of doing it. And now I think it is just incumbent upon us to just help others who aren't as fortunate with the knowledge of what we have and the wisdom of what we've seen right? to help them kind of try to help figure this out. You know, I'm, be I'm becoming so nerdy when I travel to other cities. You becoming nerdy? I I'm, I'm nerdy. I'm nerdy. <laughs> But I become like a student of the city, if I, of the city that I travel to, because I'm now wanting to see other ways that other other folks in those cities have taken things to new heights, or how they pivoted, or changes that that city is making. Um, and yes, a pool. It's so crazy. I, I was love it. So in San Diego, it they got tons of companies that are doing what's called ADMs, where they are just building tiny nodes in their backyards. There we go. To combat things being overpriced. Okay. As we talked about in Chicago, their city is taxing vacant there we go. The, um, condo owners so that those guys can bring the rents down to create affordable housing. So I love traveling and seeing what other municipalities outside of Atlanta are doing. Because it just brings topics for conversation. Sure, yeah. I mean, the other things that we can do. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, you know, there's nothing you other than never saw. Actually, I'll be happy. Yeah. There's nothing to do. Every idea, even down to the belt line, is really brought from other idea. That's it. Uh, it's just a matter of execution and sort of our leadership. Hey. Uh, well, I'm sure it comes down to money, politics. Tell us about the money, shim, politics, sure, everything comes down to politics, yes. you know. <laughs> and, and so that's kind of where we are right now. We would the climate that we're in. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, we got to fix this inventory process.